What is this? Dark Souls. Yeah. Woo. Hi guys, I'm Wu Tang. You are Zade. Hey, we're replacing Tony. He cocaine school bus child stealing accident something. The lot. There's so many burning bodies. That's what happened. Isn't that right? Sounds like a wonderful you know, time. Yes, it was. It was a wonderful time. Uh, there was a marriage happening as well in the background. It was very nice. Oh, wow. The police were very polite. <laughs> so we're playing motherfucking Dark Souls, motherfuckers. This game is awesome. Do you like this game? Um, I love to hate this game. Oh, I like this game. I think this game is great. It's fantastic. Great. It's great. It's great, and it, it, makes, you, it makes you approach the game. You have to approach it so differently from... Every other game that, you know, is really out nowadays. Uh, here, we're just going to go in here. We'd already recorded this with uh, the Broners here, which will be the new name for the guy, but uh, unfortunately the Broners had no fucking sound, so uh, we're going to have to get rid of that there. And uh, don't worry about McBonerton, sir. Uh, just, no, none of it's inappropriate. You shut your fucking mouth. All right, so what should we name this guy? Uh... Uh, oh, there's, there's Brown. Burners. Part two. <laughs> there we go. That'll work. All right, Broner's part two. Fuck it, I'm making him a dude this time. Uh, we'll go with the same build we had. Uh, same fucking Nasty. shit. Same physique. What do we have? Large upper body. Yeah. Eh, she's, stick with it with the guy? Yeah. 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 Okay. All right. We're doing that. Uh, face. Yeah. Anger let's face. make him like an angry man. Angry fat face. Look at him baby cheeks. Look at him. He's like, mama, dad, dad, goo, 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 goo. Fucking horrible receding uh, pink hairline. Can we do pink? I want to do pink. Uh, we can't do pink. We can do red. We can do a dark purple. It actually almost looks normal. Like, it doesn't look right. purple to right. me. Ah. Uh, fuck it. This is just an so angry, we're... pissed off old man. Fuck it, we're doing it. Alright, so fucking here we go again. Dark Souls, man. Oh, all that work. Ready to watch the metal ass opening again? Fantastic. If we have to do this any more times, I promise you, the more you watch it, it's just gonna keep growing on you. It's gonna keep growing and growing and growing and growing until it can't grow anymore. Then I'm gonna thud it on the table and make you look at it. How dare you do that to me? Yeah! It's not inappropriate at all. Video games. So I was saying before, they they kind of give you they give you a lot of murky story up front, but what this really boils down to in the beginning of time. There were dragons that couldn't die, and um, and endless like trees that couldn't die, and then fire was created, and souls came from the fire, um, and giants rose up and took the souls. They took four souls. Um, so the first four souls are the main lords in the game, and you actually get to fight um, a couple of them. Uh, the first one was Gwyn who uh, got the soul of light or lightning or fire or something like that. Um, there's Nito, this crazy, awesome, death metal ass looking motherfucker here, uh, who got the soul of death and decay, and uh, um, the witch Isolith got the soul of light, um, or life, or some shit. Um, and then the pygmy, which you'll see after Gwen here, um, who got the dark soul. Uh, and he picked it up after the other ones. And the dark soul, he kept splitting it and biding his time, and that became humanity. So he's actually the progenitor of all humans. So you're looking at God Jesus right here. Hi Jesus. Hi, you God. fight him you fight him in the in the the, uh, uh, the DLC. DLC. There we go, DLC. So basically they took the surface world, they they fought the dragons and killed look at that they had two mouths and had a mouth inside the mouth. Um but Gwen broke all their armor off um and then Nito killed them and then they, the, the witches killed the, the trees, and then they had the world. And uh, there was a dragon named Seep the Scaleless who told them how to basically defeat the dragons. Um, uh, and he was also 
Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? There he is, there he is, there he is. He's, he's kind of badass, and you fight him later in the game. Um, but he was the only uh, mortal dragon, and he becomes the first true undead. So in this game, uh, humans populate the earth and blah, 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 blah. And then they're hit with a curse of zombification, of hollowing, right? And fucking, um, that's a big deal. So they start throwing all these undead into the undead asylum. Um, while the, the Age of Fire, which Lord Gwyn started, um, is continuing on. But the flame is dying. And right. he's using humanity to kindle the flame. And keep the flame going. And happy, love, super fun explosion time. Um, and that's where you come in. Because you are considered possibly in the story of the game, the chosen undead. I know, I'm like doing quotation fingers having a seizure over here. Um, so you're an undead and uh, you'll see later in the game there is a prophecy that a chosen undead who escapes the undead asylum travels to the land of ancient lords and uh, rings the bells of awakening uh, will learn the fate of the undead. And that's what the story's about. They don't really give you much story in the game. It's so open and it's so... There's no direction once you get there. Right. The, the direction comes in teeny tiny little little tidbits and so snippets and item how descriptions. Do you, where to go? you just you just keep going and you just explore, which is explore, awesome that a game just allows you to yes. explore as opposed to holding your hand with a big white beacon over a guy that says follow. Because that's so garbage. So here we are, all undead and hollowed in the uh, the undead asylum. And the big problem with, with hollowing is they can never truly die, um, but they lose their minds after a while from going hollow, and then they just become mindless, murdering, killing zombie dudes, and that's bad. Mmm. Mmm, water is delicious. It's so good. So good. I'm gonna shove a chip in my mouth. Um, 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 um. So here we are, badass sausage murdering pyromancer. Um, and we picked this. We picked this because you don't have to dump stats. Um, you don't have to dump stat points into a certain stat in order to increase your pyromancy, uh, which allows you to play it like a fast melee character early on in the beginning. And uh, the high resistance to poison is fucking invaluable. Especially early in the game. I was running through playing as a knight, right? And they don't have much resistance to poison right away. So, I ended up running into those rats underneath the bridge in the right. first part. And they, like, hit me, they get me in two hits, and bam, I would be fucking poisoned, and then I wouldn't be able to fucking do anything. And that was annoying, so I want to stick, I want to stick with the, uh... Like the poison. Also, look at the stray demon right there. He's a motherfucker. Look at how giant and intimidating that thing looks. That's fucking awesome. And he threw that guy there and killed his ass. Um, we might be back here later. Beep, beep, beep. That's just another asylum demon, right? Uh, upgraded. Upgraded. Yeah, he's kind of nutso. Staff. Yeah, kill your face. You suck. Bam. Okay. I'm just running through like an idiot through this part here because there's there's no point. Those guys are super easy, and then yeah. you'll see that I will start playing a little bit more nuanced uh, as we go on here. And I love this fucking game because it requires you to think, and it requires you to be careful, and it requires you to strategize and plan and blah, 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 blah. Um, which, like I said, you don't get that in many other games where it's just go down this corridor, shoot that guy, shoot, 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 shoot. All right, here's 500 guys. I know you just started, but you can deal with it because you've been doing it forever. Come on out, come on out. Ah! It's so scary! Ah! Run away! Okay, cool. We'll be back there later. <laughs> Man, I'm, I'm dying from these, these delicious tortilla chips again. I can't stop dying. Get your shields, get out of the way of that thing. Boop. Crack around shield. Alright, let's change equipment. Not happy about having to do this again, so. Aw, oh, damn it! 
Yeah, no, no. Uh, I guess I gotta actually grab shit in order to uh, backstab. <laughs> hurt him at this point. I can totally backstab him if I want. But, uh, yeah. So this game has really heavy, satisfying, awesome melee. Um, the spell casting system isn't too bad. Yeah, I got that backstab, bitch. Yeah. I can't teabag, so I'm just... Nah, 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 nah. Look at that body. That's so fucking awesome how you can, like, kick the bodies around like that. Yeah, fuck you. You suck. Okay. Enough fucking around. Enough dumb bullshit. Let's traverse the white light here. There's a really important guy. I'll explain a little bit once we run into him. Let's go up this ladder. Stairs, not ladder. Oh, no! Boop. Broke the thing. Okay. So let's go in here and talk to this guy and learn of our one true quest. You. You're not Are you excited? Very Thank goodness. I didn't I mention it, but we're we're passing I'm off uh, the controller I'm here um, every death. So I'm controlling it now, and then I'll be passing it off here uh, whenever I die, and then yeah, and that should that should cut down on the frustration. Um, but taking a break, because then by the time you, you, you're you back in the game, you're like, oh man, I, I can't wait to try that again. Yeah. Unless uh, you pass it over and I die, and then you get right back. Exodus from the undead asylum. Make his pilgrimage to the land of ancient I think we'll do, okay. When thou ringeth okay. the bell of awakening. Have faith in your dark souls. I think, I think we'll think the combat through, and we'll figure it out, and we won't be terrible. And I can die with hope Maybe heart. not. Maybe we will be, maybe we won't be. We're both fucking horrible noobs at this yeah, game. I tedious. suck at this game, but I love it so much. An Estus flask. An undead favorite. Thanks, buddy. Ugh. Oh, and this. So this guy that gives you all the awesome shit, this is Oscar. Now, and as well. he said, um, I hate to harm you after death. his family is the one with the prophecy so about God. learning the fate of the undead. Thank you. Um, and he's actually come here to free undead in order to fulfill the prophecy. No, because be if you well. can escape and I'm travel to the land of ancient lords this. and blah, 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 like I said in the opening, so um, you can I'm learn thinking. the fate of the undead. And the prophecy might, in fact, be about him. But as you can see, he's uh, he's about to go hollow and lose his mind. And Does he have to stay alive? Bad juju. Does he have to stay alive? No, Is you it? can totally kill. You can kill absolutely anybody you want in this game. So you what can would kill. happen if you kill them? He just died. Excuse me. He just dies. Um, there's a possibility of him surviving and you running into him later in the game. Oh, wow. There, did you see that again? That's the yeah. second time that happened when we were fucking around here. Um, and... Yeah, you can uh, run around with him and maybe summon him for boss battles later in the game. Oh, Jesus. Fucking up already. I'm already, I'm already fucking up. There we go. Alright, so let's show off the pyromancy a bit here. Let's uh, equip the pyromancy flame. You start off with a uh, basic uh, ranged pyromancy spell um, that does a ton of damage to undead and a few other different types of enemies, which is it's really good. Um, there you go, get that backstab on you, girl. Yeah, 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 yeah. Make you taste that pain. There we go, and finish him off. Um, but it's really good for starting off people, uh, people who suck like me and, and you. Right. You, yeah. would, would you say you suck? No, I definitely suck. Okay, cool. I'm so we're both, in a, more than you. we're both in agreement that we suck. All right, so here we go. Here's that guy. Hey, buddy. Make me a sandwich. Oh, shit. I didn't do as much damage because I, uh, uh, didn't have it equipped two-handed. All right, so let's see. We should be able to take care of him pretty easily. Oh shit, well I fucked that up. I was in the middle of casting, so once you hit a certain point in casting, there's like really no going back. Uh, which is what happened to me there. Oh shit. Damn it. I tried to get out of the way. Uh, we'll try and look, or, uh, build up our poise here later on in the game. One more. Uh, he's gonna hit me here. Damn it. I knew it. I hit the button and then I'm like, yeah, well that's gonna suck. Yeah, we got him. Oh, he so almost lucky. got me. Yeah, yeah, I did pretty good. But uh, yeah, so there we go. That's the big. That's the bit. The first big. Oh my god, what the fuck moment for most people right. when they fight this guy and they're like, he is fucking owning my butthole. He's just owning it. He's like, you see this butthole? This is mine. I planted my. I planted my flag deep inside your butthole. No mercy. And now you have to taste my pain. 
<laughs> Pull out the flag and tell me you like it. <laughs> so fuck. Very wrong. God damn. <laughs> so yeah, I mean, this game is is so good and it's so nuanced and it, it it it's satisfying. It's so satisfying, and that's the good thing is when you the, you you'll fight these bosses or you'll fight your way through an area and you'll have such a hard fucking time of it, learning it, bashing your head against the wall, and eventually you'll get to a point where it's just like, yes, I've got it, I've done it. It's the most satisfying fucking feeling in the world when you finally beat through that boss who's been pushing your shit in for you know, the past 20 tries or, you know, something like that. And then you're like, right. yes! And it gives you this super good oh, feeling that you don't always get the when you play video games. games. This game will like, make you feel like a badass. It'll make you feel like a badass and it will humble you in ways that no other game can really humble you. I think at this point in video games, which is great. It's great! 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 To leave great. the undead great. asylum mm -hmm. in pilgrimage. I'm not double dipping. I'm not... Ah, the land of the ancient Mmm. I licked that chip's clit before I shoved it in the salsa. Is that what you did? Yeah! Mmm. Deliciously inappropriate. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, I think video games as a whole devolve humanity into swear words and grunts and poop jokes over time. So being able to, oh, delicious, play and have fun and be, you know, intelligently game is, is, it's a must. Otherwise you just become a fucking, you know, Call of Duty, blah, blah, blah. And no then, never up a candle at bonfire. Bonfire. Okay, <laughs> so here we are. We're in larger in the land of ancient buttholes. I don't know, something. All right, there we go. Save there, and everything went all crazy, and the frame rate dropped like crazy. This game has frame rate issues at certain points, I'm not gonna lie, and it kinda sucks. Uh, this is not the way I'm gonna go, that's the way we're gonna go eventually, but right now I wanna grab, I wanna grab all the happy love fun items in this area. Uh, there's a bunch of stuff in here that kinda really help you out in the beginning of the game. Um, yeah. And then there's, there, the only real area to die here is the graveyard, uh, which is full of, uh, Pretty tough enemies for the beginning of the game, but uh, yeah. So there's a guy, and uh, he's actually he belongs to a covenant that makes uh, it less likely for you to do PvP, which is in this game um, when you are human, obviously. Hello uh, there. So we're gonna talk to him and join the covenant because when we go human, the last thing I, I want is to get invaded and get my ship pushed in by some douchebag who's just like, oh, blah, blah, blah. Not, but that is part know. of the game. And it's actually a really cool and satisfying part of the game. So, Hello there. if you're I into that kind of that thing, it, it's here and it's accessible. Buttons. And but I also want you to yeah. know mm. that it is not meant in ill will. So, what are some yeah. of the benefits Take to being this. human as opposed as to being undead? Peace. No, um, go ahead. It's well, I tried like hell to confirm this, but you're supposed to have more health when you're human, oh my. like in Demon you Souls. Again. Oh, I have um, to wait. So, what would that? There we go. Yeah, that would please me. Oops, I didn't mean to skip through all that. Then um, but you can also summon people for co-op, uh, which is invaluable um, when you're fighting through areas or, you know, trying to fight a, a boss. Is you can summon somebody in, which helps tremendously with quite a few of them. Now let me share my miracles. Yeah. Only their ultimate effectiveness will be determined by your efforts and your faith. I don't know, for some reason, whenever I made my character and came in and talked to this guy originally, he told me to suck it. You gotta just keep talking to him is really like, what it is. I went to talk to him and he didn't give me any She is awesome young, so but burdened oh, well. by an undead. Very well. Yeah. We he's a bad guy. Defenses. He deserved it. Very to well. Her from harm. So sad. Look at him. He's got such a nice derpy haircut and smile. Uh, let's see. So this guy's important in the beginning of the game because you can buy miracles from him if you are so inclined. Uh, miracles are what clerics use to heal and you can get crazy lightning spells later and stuff to help with melee. Um, like if I were playing as like a knight class, a slower guy, I would definitely grab some miracles just so that I can heal without using Estus. So I can save the Estus for when I need it, when I'm, you know, Come again. being teabagged by a fucking boss. Right. Depend upon your um, faith. It'll help out a lot in the very beginning of gameplay, especially. 
But yeah, this game's cool because I mean, you you pick a you pick a starting. Uh, Shut up. You you pick a starting class, but that doesn't that doesn't limit you at all. It just kind of gives back. you a guideline. Roll right up steps. Burp. Make that right in the room. Burp. Roll down the hole. No, 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 no. Fuck no. Roll down the hole. No, because I need to get back up. You can. Are you sure? Yeah. I don't remember. I like doing this after I have the uh, the thing activated. Oh, the stuff right here that drops us into the... Uh... Into the graveyard. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I'm going to grab this shit, like, much later into the game. And I didn't want to... The cracked red eye orbs are what you use to invade another uh, player's land when you're not hollow. Right, Morning Star and Talisman. Ooh, actually. So just so you know, you don't have to buy one from the guy. You can get one straight from one of these boxes right here if you just know where to go. Let's see. How does that affect? Oh, that doesn't really affect my uh, equip load too much, and that does. The Morning Star, they or blunt weapons like this do a ton of damage against armored enemies and against undead as well. Okay. So we're basically an undead, low-level killing machine right now, which is totally awesome. And those homeward bones are super important too. Those homeward bones will automatically teleport you to whatever, uh, uh, was it, fire pit that you activate. Yes, sir. Whatever bonfire, bonfire. you're at last. Run away from those guys unless you feel like killing them. They can actually do quite a bit of damage to these guys right away as, uh, as a pyromancer, so you actually get some, uh, yeah. Just left their We did. That's actually really good, because uh, we're about to fight a few more here. Let's so grab this. Oh, shit, 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 shit. Here, we're gonna get back up on the stairs before we fuck with these guys again. Run, 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 run. Are you just gonna get trapped down there? So that guy's trapped down there. That's another fun thing about Fire this game, face. is like finding goofy exploits that you can use to... Uh, get through the enemies without them being able to hit you. Which is fun, and it's funny, and it's it's kind of a... Oh, shit. I missed his ass. Oh, shit. I'm gonna die. I don't wanna die. Yeah! Fuck you, bro! Eat this dick! Oh, well, that's a waste of that. Fuck it. I guess we're attacking him like this. Come on. Come on. Come on. Hit me. Come on. Do your second swing. Oh, shit. See, we can't really do too much damage to him like this. Come on. Okay, can I get behind him in time? No, shit. Come here, bro. Come on, bro. Let's see if I can't get a couple good hits in. Yeah, beat his ass. The morning start, it's kind of a little slower than I'm used to with the axe and everything, but it's doing decent damage. Yeah, okay. Alright. So we can we can do this. We can do this, you guys. Okay, I'm gonna grab this fucking thing down here, and then when the guys spawn, I'm gonna run the actual fuck away. Actually, did any of them spawn in no, the area? No, no. it's the next okay. two. Yeah, I'm gonna grab this one up you here. Get both of them. Well, no, the other one's a, a Zweihander, but I'm going to get the fuck away from these guys, because those guys can one-hit me right now. As you noticed, I haven't even spent any souls yet. So if I lose them, we're going to have to go back here and fucking deal with these guys. Right. So in the meantime, we're going to run away, and we're going to go back to the, uh, the, the, the bonfire. Now, the bonfire's cool. You're never truly safe in this game, but when you rest at a bonfire, it resets all the enemies, even the dead ones. So those guys that had spawned and were coming to get me are back in there un unmolested state right. which you. is a good thing and a bad thing but i guess that's where a miracle comes in because the bonfire will fully heal up your health but once it does that it's going to reset every enemy that you kill to get to it so you kind of just make it more work for yourself yeah but i mean it's it's kind of part of the game and it refills right. your estus which is important and bonfires are important because later on in the game you can fast travel between them um you can kindle them which will increase the amount of estus you can carry um, and they have other other uh, uh, benefits now, as well. Now, did you want to get the uh, great sword? Like the oh, the Zweihander? No, not right now. We don't need it, and I don't think we'll we'll talk about it more once we start leveling up here. But for this build and this run, right. I don't well, think. Well, yeah, a pyromancer would never use it, but 
Oh, we can totally use it at any point. It's just I would like to discuss what lev what upgrade path we are going to. Well, it's definitely not going to be two-handed great swords. Well, you can still use it one-handed. But here, let me show let me show you um, some stuff here, some important stuff. So here we go. We've got equipment here. Now let's take a look at this item here. Uh, let's take a look at the display here. So we have the basic stats of the item here. As you can see, now if you look at the physical attack, it's got 83 plus 7. Now you ask where that plus 7 comes from? It's from the parameter bonus down there. Now I don't know if you know that, but the parameter bonus down there um, is basically those are representation of certain stats. And based on how many points you have in those stats, it'll scale your weapon to that. Right. So it's important to decide, do you want to go with a lot of strength in the beginning and use weapons that mainly scale to strength, or do you want weapons that scale sure, to dexterity, etc., etc., et especially when we're using a melee class like this. Right. Um, so then you will dump the points in there, and based on the parameter bonus and the amount of points you have in that stat, it will dramatically increase the amount of damage your weapon does, and as you upgrade your, your weapon later in the game, it will further increase <clears throat> uh, the amount of bonus you get. Right. Which is stupid important, right? Because if you put all your shit into 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 to one thing and then you equip something else and, and then you, you don't, don't get enough. any stats, it can it can even decrease the amount of damage you do. Right. So what we want to decide right now is: do we want to stick with large strength based blunt weapons, or do we want to go with something a little faster that's more uh, dexterity? Definitely based? going with uh, dexterity. Based. You want to go with dexterity, so we'll mainly be using swords and the like. Swords, spears, uh, definitely. Okay, cool. Because so, there are a lot of weapons in the game later on. Uh, you guys will find out that scale with dexterity that are one of the best weapons in the game. So. And they attack a lot quicker than these heavy weapons. So, exactly. like, you, you noticed I was attacking with the Morningstar, and it was attacking slower, much slower than it would be attacking with, the uh, with uh, like, a sword or something right. like that. So the next big thing is going to be grinding, well, not grinding, but going through the next area until we get a long sword, because that's also got the stab, the lunge, the nice long-range... Right. Heavy attack, and uh, we'll discuss a little bit later when we get to a certain part if we want to uh, make a decision in the game to give us a, a weapon that can do that or or not. So we'll discuss that a little bit later. Oh yeah. Um, now let's see. Uh, are you familiar with poise and equip load and everything like that? Uh, minorly. The amount of poise you have determines uh, how much you're knocked back by physical attacks, whether you're blocking or not. So a higher, if you have higher poise, the less likely you are to get knocked down by an attack, whereas an attack might just hit you and do damage to you. Right. Uh, poise is based on a couple things, mostly what you have equipped, um, and it's, it's essential later on in the game. So we won't be changing the equipment much in the beginning just because of the high damage or high... Uh, poison resistance that the uh, the pyromancer starting stuff has. Here, let's take a look. Uh, poison resistance 59. Oh, wow. It's, okay. really, it's really good. It's really good in the beginning, and I'll, I'll explain what uh, how, how that's uh, represented in the game. But, okay, so we're going to go with dexterity weapons. That was delicious. We're going to go with dexterity weapons, um, and obviously we're going to start off with the one build. Okay, so we know what we're doing. So let's use some items here. Let's see, do I just have them straight up equipped? Yep. So we're going to use these Souls of Lost Undead and then the large ones we got from the graveyard in order to increase the number of souls we have so that we can start leveling. So now, it's never... It's never smart in this game, especially in the beginning, to, to be... An, well, to be an all-round character. It's, it's not smart to do that right away. Um... Just simply because, here we go, we're going to throw this in there. That way we don't have to deal with going into the menu over and over. Um, just because you, you, don't, you won't have a really solid way to do damage, or you won't be able to take damage, etc., etc. So we're going to dump into uh, certain base stats right away uh, here. So let's go to level up. Now, um, uh, before you do that, yes, sir. Uh, the spear is probably way better than the mace since we're going dexterity check and see what the requirements are for using that that way we're not wasting souls that's a good idea and we're going to put we're definitely going to put strength up to a certain level right in the beginning just because we're going to need it for some of the items we equip later so let's take a look at the display minus 69 so we need a lot more dexterity but required parameters 13 strength and 15, 15 dexterity yep. so we're not going to be able to really use this right away um, so we're going to stick with the morning star uh, until we get a sword at this right. point okay. 
uh, which will help with the melee uh, type of attacks we're going to be doing here. So, no, 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 let's go to rest the bonfire. See, we know so much, but then we get into game and we're like, Duh, I can't do the sword good <laughs> Ah, we're dying. Hey, look, it's a ghost. Hey, buddy. You look like Oscar. And then there's another guy there. Everybody's playing Dark Souls. Hi, guys. Dark Souls. Thanks for watching. Now, please subscribe to my channel. Here we do full playthroughs of some of our favorite and most hated games. We do cool one-offs like Complete Idiots Play and Spoiler Alert. And every now and then you can catch us on the weekends for some awesome multiplayer games with our best friends the Wonder Pets. I hope you guys like all the new episodes we have coming out every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Uh, please subscribe so that you can check out all the new content as it comes out. And we'll see you next time.